Oh. Beautiful. And look at the way he's opening his mouth. It's nice and long. Okay, not not that way, not horizontal. It's vertical on sure, okay? Long opening. There she is. Yo, 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 how's it going everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Fahim Mushi. I'm a vocal coach, voice teacher, and also a singer. And guys and gals, in this episode, we're going to be reacting and doing an in-depth analysis of Dimash Kudabirgen, Lara Fabian, and Adia Gerifulina singing Ti Amo Kosi, okay? I got a lot of requests for this one, and I am super duper excited and pumped up for this one. So once again, guys, Thank you for all your requests, your feedback, your comments, and of course, your support. Now, um, Lara Fabian is somebody that I actually got requested a few times in my channel. I got some videos and I saw a lot of other people, including voice teachers, uh, reacted to some of her videos. So I might actually plan to do it in my channel if you guys like, like that. So you guys can let me know down in the comments about that. Um, and Ada, I believe she's an opera singer, okay, an opera singer, probably a soprano from uh, Russia. Uh, but I'm really excited. I am really excited and can't wait to, you know, get into this video. But hey, as per usual, if you guys are tuning here for the first time and you guys are already enjoying my content, then make sure to smash that thumbs up button, which is gonna help the YouTube algorithm to push up my content more so that I get to make more video for you guys, okay? So be sure to do that. Um, and if you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you do decide to subscribe to my channel, then make sure to click on the notification bell and click on all so that every time I upload a new video or I post something on the YouTube community tab or I share something on the YouTube story, then y'all get notified, okay? So be sure to do that. Show me some love, show me some support. Now, I also have social media handles where you can find me. I will attach my social media handles right here above my uh, right hand but y'all probably see it as a left hand. Um, I have Instagram, I have Facebook, I have Snapchat. So the type of comments that I usually share on my social media platforms are related to singing and vocal coaching. So if you guys are interested for that, or if you guys just want me to show, want to show me some support, then go ahead, give a like, give a follow. I would really, really appreciate that. Now, last but not least, I am a voice teacher and I give singing lessons every single day via Skype, Facebook, Discord, and Zoom. So if you guys are interested to improve your singing, whether it's your technique, such as your range, pitch, vibrato, tone, or artistic elements such as your diction, intonation, accent, in phrasing, etc., then, or if you guys just want me to critique your singing, then head over to my Fiverr account, which I will leave it on the description. Now with all of that promotional stuff being said, let's go ahead and react and analyze this performance and see what these three amazing singers has brought to the table. Звезды фигурного катания на сцене Лара Фабиан, Аида Гарифулина, Димаш Кудайберген. Oh. oh, I love that soft tone. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. So, uh, just want to point out a few things here. So, clearly, Dimash is singing very operatic because this is an opera song, right? And um, I love that rich tone that he's bringing out. He's not really that loud, okay? And he's fairly low in the range. He hit an A2 at the bottom. Um, some around there, and then he kind of went up there in the third octave. And... Um, Another thing I really like is that he sang two notes very softly while maintaining a low larynx while not going into a falsetto. So it was like a kind of light chest voice with low larynx, which was really nice. 
and of course um, Ada here over here she's singing beautiful soprano head head voice tone in her kind of mid range of the voice okay which sounds really really nice and she went a little bit high and then kind of came down to our mid range so that was really nice this and the overall uh, chemistry uh, and the charisma that's going on between the two artists I'm really liking it liking it because they are communicating really well in the performance okay so awesome <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Oh, look at that. Did you guys hear that? It's almost like that's the sound you would use to actually communicate with a tiger, uh, more specifically a Bengal tiger. Um, so that's a. Uh, that's basically you're saying R, but without the sound. So your uvula is rattling essentially, okay? So that's a uvula rattle essentially. And um, I know that in some certain uh, languages, they have that, uh, uh, they have an alphabet or they have sounds where you have to go kra, kra, or kra, something like that, okay? I could be wrong about that, but um, just by talking to some opera singers, that's what they've just told me. So yeah, awesome. Let's uh, watch back for a few seconds. Beautiful. There she is. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. The way that they went higher, both um, Dimash Kudabiergen and uh, Ada, um, it was beautiful. Okay, it was really beautiful. It's almost like they were building up as they kind of like went to the higher note and they didn't blast the volume either they were still holding back and just giving a little bit more pulling it back giving it a more pulling it back so what i mean by that is let's say i'm doing a scale uh in an operatic manner let's say um Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, da. and he's just gonna oh, 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 kind of like the sigh kind of feeling, right? Um, and that's kind of like a similar way that they're actually singing the song, okay? So it's beautiful, okay? It's really beautiful. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. All right, let's go. Oh, oh beautiful. <laughs> I love, I love this man so much. Okay, I, I, I just love him so much. I just want, I just want to give a little shout out to Igor, uh, Igor Krutoy, right? Igor Krutoy. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Uh, but Lara Fabian essentially is singing a little bit differently. Okay, she's not singing with a low larynx. Okay, so she has a more of a neutral larynx position. And um, yeah, I'll give more analysis in a bit. Let's uh, just wanted to pause here uh, to his face and give a shout out to Mr. Igor. Okay, all right, let's go. Beautiful, beautiful. And just the way he's doing every vowel, it's like it's so pristine, it's so clear. Like, God bless Dimashko de Bergen. I mean, it's just so good. It's 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 impeccable. It is impeccable, okay? It's it's perfect. Oh. Beautiful. And look at the way he's opening his mouth. It's nice and long. Okay, not not that way, not horizontal, it's vertical embouchure, okay? Long opening. And all those people ice skating, it's beautiful. So they're essentially harmonizing in an octave, okay? So she's singing in the fourth octave, whereas Dimash is singing in the third octave. So really awesome, really awesome, wow. Ooh. 
Diminished chord. Diminished chord. Oh wow, that just sounded so cool. Yet, uh, like diminished chords always gives a, a very different vibe to it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it was diminished, but I could be wrong. So let me listen to that again real quick. Yeah, this one is diminished. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> My perfect pitch is not functioning that well right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's diminished. I'm pretty sure that's diminished. Um, you guys let me know in the comments whether I'm right or wrong. That part right there is a diminished chord. <laughs> I love that melody. Uh, like that part for me personally is really getting me like na, 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 na. And, and like there's this interesting melody that's changing. It's like playing an A major and then going to an F major, uh, I think. So that's really interesting. Just that part of the melody. A little back. I love it. Oh, one thing I, I, I'm noticing right now is if you just look at... Yeah, now Lara Fabian is essentially singing with a more operatic tone, okay? So that's pretty interesting. Let me go back a little bit so that y'all can enjoy without me pausing. B5 at the top. Who's hitting day five? I think it's her. And if you guys really observe that note, it's very thin. Like, oh. I'm, I'm not sure if I can do it, but let me give it a shot. Ooh. Whoops, not a whistle. My voice is flipping to a whistle, probably because it's not warmed up, but that was an F6 in whistle. This is what happens when you try to demonstrate without any warm up. I'm so sorry for that, guys. But yeah, it's in that, it's in that kind of low larynx kind of sound, okay? So apologies for my really bad demonstration. But yeah, awesome, awesome, really awesome. Oh my God, bless them, bless them all. Ooh. Just. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, that's. That was amazing. That was spectacular. Oh my god. Okay, and it seems like all of these four videos that I'm seeing in my screen, I don't think I've reacted to them actually. So uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do these four videos, okay? I'm pretty sure I've not done the, uh, the one on the bottom left, the one on the top. The names kind of seem uh, similar or familiar. Uh, the no, I have reacted to no before, but maybe not that performance, okay? So it's a different performance, and even Passione, I think I've reacted to that one before as well, but a different performance, okay? So let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do that. But um, yeah, um, that was absolutely mind-blowing, okay? Beautiful performances by them all. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, Dimash, uh, you know, sang with the male voice body, went to that bridge area, the first bridge area, and then kind of came down. Did a lot of interesting thing with, uh, with his voice. Uh, Lara Fabian started off with uh, more like a neutral larynx, kind of like a speech-like kind of uh, mixed voice, and then later she went down, uh, went into a more of a kind of like a opera kind of sound. Um, and of course, Ada, she did really well. I love the way she was holding out that A5 at the top, um, light yet powerful. If that makes sense, because it's not, ooh, it's not blasting. Okay, it's not blasting. Definitely, she was not doing that. And my attempt even doing that was an epic fail, so I want to apologize if that uh, bothered some of you guys. But um, yeah, um, that's it, guys. That's it. I really don't have anything else to add at this point, honestly. And uh, I really enjoy this performance. So um, yeah, let me just go ahead and wrap this video here. 
So there you go guys, that's my reaction and my analysis of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my analysis, because if you did, then make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video or I post something on my YouTube community tab or on my YouTube story, then y'all get notified, okay? So be sure to do that. Show me some love, show me some support. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my reaction and my analysis. And if you guys want me to do more Dimash Kudaybegin reaction videos, then let me know which Dimash Kudaybegin videos you guys want me to react to, and I will try to get them back to you as soon as I can. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.